Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of HRD 600, History and Philosophy of Adult Education. I will be brief this week uh, because I know everybody is dealing with a lot of stuff. Um, a normal semester, you get to this point of the class and there's a tremendous amount going on, both internal and external to USM and, and the class. So today I will try to be as brief as I possibly can. I'll cover the materials and I'll go over um, a, a tweak that I made to the actual course. But let's get right to it. And I want to just say to everybody, if you're having difficulties after dealing with such a tragic week in Maine, please reach out to me and there's all kinds of help available. I know from my standpoint, I live in Topsom. Topsom abuts Bodenham and Bowden and Lisbon and um, you know I, I I know the impact it had on my immediate family and and the ramifications for all of these surrounding communities but I know that these these events horrific events uh, really impacted all of Mainers and in many ways I think all of the country so if there's anything I can do, any help you need, please reach out to me and uh, we'll figure something out. Okay, let's get right to the materials. In we're still in module number three. And if you come down here, we are, you're looking at the video for week number 10. And we have a few things while I'm on the screen. Week number 10 is really the to-do for both weeks, week number 10 and week number 11. I did want to mention right out of the chute, we had a heavy week last week as far as two discussion forms. Um, this week, the discussion form is optional. And I, if you have something to say, something you want to post out there, please do. But once again, it is not mandatory. Nobody will be marked you'll get nobody will get points for it nobody will be marked off on it um i think everybody to keep things as simple as possible i'll just give everybody credit for participation in it and then we can you know it doesn't mess up the the, the scoring for the discussion forum so once again optional critical or optional participation in in that so let's take a look at this particular one well, the video you're taking a look at as we speak. Let me go back. I apologize for that. Hit the wrong button. Let me come down here. To do, etc. Field work, week 10. So really, it's, it's week 10 and week number 11. That being said, I will have some information in a video next Saturday. Um, but you can look at both of these as being a continuation of, of both of the weeks 10 and 11. You put them together. We'll finish next, the end of, in two weeks from now, we'll finish this actual module and we'll go into really the final portion of the class. So in week 10, we're really looking at critical theory. And critical theory is, it, it looks at this whole philosophy that the, the purpose of adult education is really change and social change, radical change. Um, it's, it's kind of hard not to mention critical race theory over, you know, this has been a big topic over the last few years. And actually it's been a big topic for many years. And so I'd like you, that's our focus this week. There's all kinds of materials. Um, I've re received some feedback saying, you know, you post a lot. A lot of this is, is to me, optional. You can glance at it. You can read at it. You can read it. Um, it really depends on how much time you have. But at the root of it, I, I would like everybody to do as much as you possibly can. A couple of the um, important figures in this, this movement, these ideas, are Miles Horton and Frary. You may know Frary from other portions of or other classes that you've taken in the past but those are two figures that um, both are prolific authors prolific pr prolific in their thoughts and you can even uh, find additional information beyond the confines of this class so i'd like you to take a look at the the information that i posted online 
Electronic Reserve articles, Miles Horton and Frary. By the way, if, if some link doesn't work, you can't get a video, or maybe you even have a video that you've used in another class, or uh, send that to me, and I'd be happy to post it. Um, Frary's documentary, The Highlander Folk School. Basically, the school was, if you look at the people that have participated in the Highlander Folk School, it's pretty impressive. Um, I've always thought of this type setting as a very safe environment where, where people could gather and they talk about ideas. They talk about the critical things that are going on in, in the country. Um, it's hard to even not put this into, into words, looking at what happened in kind of this week in, in Lewiston, Maine, as, uh, you know, maybe what is the what is the real purpose of education? And if you look at it, it's looking at social change. That's another topic. But um, so other scholars, Bell Hooks is one that many people know. So getting right to the materials, optional participation, week number 11, which is next week. Uh, I will have a new video on that to talk about kind of couple of things, including the second journal summary and the, the field study and what's going to be involved with that. So take a look at the materials for week number 10, week number 11. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, you know, I don't think it matters. Like I said, if you were up in Fort Kent or down in Wells or over in Bethel area or, you know, Far East, um, the, the events of this week impacted us all. I know it did me, you know, I'm right here in Topsom and, um, from my, from the personal connections that I have throughout the area, I can tell you it, it did have an impact on, on my family. So peace to everybody. Um, let me know if I can help in any way and, uh, the best of success with, with schoolwork this week. Bye. Hope you have a great week.